Recently I read a really popular book by one really famous author and that book is The Old Man and the Sea by er Ernest Hemingway. And this book is was published in 1952 and it's really popular book. It was really popular like th uh, since publishing and it's pop popular also today. The popularity and quality of this book is seen in Ernest Hemingway winning the Nobel Prize for Literature in uh, 1954 because of this book and I believe that this book is really evergreen book it was relevant f 70 years ago when it when it was published it is relevant now and it would be it will be relevant in 200 years and we will be always able to learn something new and to re relate to that book and to get some uh, useful insights and so Ernest Hemingway was uh, Ameri an American uh, novelist and uh, journalist. He was working a lot as a journalist in a war. And then using that experience, uh, he started writing uh, his first books. And he as well wrote before working as a, no uh, as a journalist. So he, was, uh, he had really uh, like tough experiences and that uh, helped him a lot to write such useful books and novels who are, that are really uh, valuable and we can really learn a lot from those books. So the main character of this book is uh, an old man called Santiago. He is a fisherman and he is living uh, in a small uh, town and he didn't catch anything for 84 days and he was just getting ready to start his 85th day uh, with his assistant a young boy called Manalino and the young boy is always helping him to carry his uh, equipment and to help him set up the boat and everything uh, he's bringing him the food and helps him uh, with the newspapers and all that but his parents forbidden him to spend uh, time and go fishing uh, with Santiago because he didn't catch anything in uh, 84 days but a young boy still believes in in Santiago and he still uh, spends time with him and that shows that uh, young people actually children uh, have really like a good sense for uh, quality people and when they believe in someone it really means that uh, they really trust that person and they really uh, believe that it will t work out good uh, for both of them so on the 85th day uh, Santiago went uh, on his uh, journey to catch some fish and uh, he went by himself and uh, this the, the whole book uh, is a story about three days and three nights of Santiago uh, catching uh, one big fish over 500 kilos and uh, he was uh, like struggling and he was attacked uh, by sharks and he had so many problems and after three days and three nights he got back to his town uh, with only uh, head and skeleton of that fish and he was so tired so exhausted and uh, the point is in that journey in that in those three days uh, where we see a lot of uh, struggles and all the challenges that uh, Santiago went through so he uh, didn't have a lot to eat he just uh, he had to catch a fish every day and he ate uh, one fish a day it was a raw fish but he said uh, okay just uh, keep up with this don't give up right now uh, you can do this and he was uh, talking a lot to himself and that's uh, something really weird because uh, he was alone and uh, usually in the past he would talk to uh, Manalino but right now he was alone and, and he was still talking aloud by himself and he was also talking to the fish so like communicating with her telling her oh come on uh, uh, like uh, come to me and something like that and that uh, maybe shows uh, loneliness because when a man uh, is lonely he tend to talk uh, aloud uh, to himself and he just ha has to talk uh, to someone and we can see that uh, in this uh, like monologues of Santiago when he's talking uh, to himself and then in the end when uh, he arrived back uh, to his town he just went to sleep and uh, all, all the people were talking about how he caught such a big fish and Manalino of course helped him uh, to, he brought him some food and 
uh, t took care of him and he told him in the end uh, I want you to teach me everything about fishing and I want to go fish fishing with, with you and that really shows uh, that trust of Manalino to Santiago because young boy really had uh, trust and he knew that Santiago has a lot of experience and he can he can teach him a lot about fishing and he wanted to learn everything to become such a great fisher as Santiago was even though he didn't catch anything in 84 days it doesn't mean anything it doesn't matter how much time it uh, uh, passed when you didn't do anything any progress but uh, what matters is quality and your experiences that you had in the past and uh, what I uh, learned the most and for me the main lesson from uh, this book the old man and the sea is that uh, you have to fight for your passion and for your mission. So, so while reading this book and mostly uh, while reading uh, those uh, challenges and uh, th struggles that Santiago was going through on those three days uh, on the boat when he was uh, fishing, he really uh, talked to himself and he was telling himself, I will fight till I die and I won't give up uh, the man is not made for uh, failures the man, man can fail but he could never be uh, beaten he he's just uh, he was really encouraging himself and that that's when i got this lesson that uh, when you know that something is uh, useful that something is worth doing and you love doing that you enjoy that as santiago enjoyed fishing and you uh, think of that as your purpose your mission your calling then you should fi fight for it uh, no matter what it takes so even if it me even after 84 days of nothing even if it means to struggle 3 days in a row and no matter how hard it gets you have to fight for that you have to fight for what you believe in and you have to work hard for that because no one else is going to do that but you and if you believe in something you just have to go after it and that will bring you to your goals and to achieving everything you wanted to achieve so that's what I want you to remember from this book that's what I remembered uh, from this book and that's the main lesson for me so you have to fight and you have to work hard for your passion and for your mission thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video